Hey, happy Tuesday to you. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I want to take us this morning, as we kick off the day with God's Word, I want to take us this morning to the book of Genesis. We are going to the very beginning of the Bible. In fact, we're, we're going to Genesis chapter 1. Uh, so it, it doesn't get more beginning than that, okay? So we're, we're, we're going to take a look at uh, how, uh, or, or actually kind of the ending part when God created everything, okay? Uh, and he created um, all that we see, the sky, uh, you know, the, the, the water, the land, the, the birds, the animals, the fish, man and woman, and there's a uh, there's a statement that is made here that I don't want us to lose today, and why don't you check it out with me? Genesis one, starting in verse twenty seven and going to verse twenty eight, it says this: So God created mankind in His own image, in the image of God He created them, male and female He created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. You and I were created in God's image. Now, let me go ahead and go there since some of you read that with me, the scripture plainly says, male and female, God created them. Um, <laughs> there's a narrative going out in our society right now that says that gender is nothing more than a social construct. That's what they say. Basically meaning that it... it uh, it, it, it just is, it, there's nothing to it, and um, gender is just there. And now there's a million genders. Well, I'm here to tell you that's wrong. That's wrong. If you have a biblical worldview, and if you follow Jesus Christ, then you have to accept this verse as truth. And the truth is, God created two genders, male and female. And we've been created in God's image. Now, this is significant because you have not been um, created by accident. You have not been just thrown together. God made you with a purpose. See, he, he gave Adam and Eve a specific purpose in creating them. Specifically, he wanted them to multiply and reign over the earth, right? Uh, for you, you've been made in God's image. So, so you are a reflection of him. Get this, Okay. You are significant to God, and you've been made in his image. And he made you not only in his image, but he made you with a purpose. And he made you with a plan. And he made you with a destiny. And I don't want you to forget this. I don't want you to lose heart on this. I don't want you to just let this go you have been made in the image of God. Each and every single one of us, we've been made in the image of God, male and female. We've been created. We've been created not just to exist until we die, but we've been created with a plan and a purpose. That's how much he loves you. That's how much he loves you. So if there's one person who thinks they were just thrown together, if there's just if there's one person, maybe you've been told you were an accident. Maybe you've been told that you were unplanned. Maybe you have been told that you've been nothing but an inconvenience. Let me tell you that that is not God's view. No matter what the circumstances are in, in anyone's birth, you have been created by God 
with a purpose. You have been created in his image, and he loves you dearly. And don't ever lose sight of that. Don't ever lose sight of that. God bless you. That's all the time I've got today. Thanks for joining me. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.